Hi, my name's Travis Grady, and I have no idea what I'm doing here. So, Dan told me that Travis looks like Seabass from Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> and now that's all I can see. There's a spooky symbol. There's a strange depression carved into the door. Looking at it makes my head feel numb. That's where I came from. It's a female seclusion. Broken lock. Ah! I've Ow. always hated you. You and your devil son. Oh God, Helen. My dear, dear Helen. You really are dead. What will I do? Didn't have to be so loud about it. Oh, Dwyer is stretched across the cubicle. That sucks. I got a kitchen knife. What kind of grab was that? It's nowhere near you. Maybe. <laughs> I didn't realise there were two of them. Bring me my son. Eee, toilet's disgusting. The toilet looks blocked. There's a metal ringing in the pipe sounds in the pipe. It sounds like something is stuck. Should I flush it? Sure. A toilet has been flushed. Okay, that's definitely gone to the sewage pipes, right? Oh, I can unlock the door now, can't I? Oh, shut up. Where am I? Okay, let's, let's try the other way first then. Yeah, that's what I said as well. I got a baton. Administered medication to the seclusion patients. There were no incidents. Accompanied Dr. Harris on his morning rounds. No incident of note. 
Visit for Mrs. Blah from her husband. Took her into the empty dorm room so she would feel more comfortable. She attacked her husband. During the visit, she had a violent episode and attempted to throttle Mr. Blart. She was heard screaming by myself and the attending orderly, and we managed to restrain her, though it took three of us, despite her being a female of slight build. After we sedated her and took her back to her room, Dr. Harris examined her and decided to reinstate her dose of epilonium. Apol Apolline Apollinium. Apollinium. After the incident with Mrs. Blart, the other patients have become agitated and restless. Harris has ordered a lockdown. So we got ourselves a violent patient, have we? Also, we got ourselves a table lamp, have we? Also, we got ourselves a key, have we? Patient belongings key. Patient belonging room, where's that? Who even knows? <laughs> there it is. Anything else in here? Someone left that doll. I'll leave it here in case they come looking for it. I don't think they're going to. I think everyone's dead. Or phased out of existence or whatever happens to everyone. <laughs> to the patient belonging room. I think. Yes, the patient belongings room. That's not the patient belongings room. It's unlocked. Let's just wait for you to go past. if you just play it with the torch turned off. No one knows what the hell's going on. <laughs> well, how do I get back then? It's blocked. How do I get there? I don't remember. Do I need to go like down and all the way back around again? Because that's, that's dumb. I got to the lobby, so how did I get there before? Oh, I'm really stupid. You just go through here. <laughs> it turns out I'm just an idiot. You just do this. Simple. Oh, she's really broken. That's probably just the emulator, though. Dr. Harris and magpies have been at it again. This time they swallowed the damn keys for the archives in the basement. Don't worry, Garen is, Gary has taken the Mrs. Mr. Magpie to the TB ward, and I'm taking Mrs. Magpie to hydrotherapy. We'll make them spit the keys out. Oh, I think I've already done all that bit now. <laughs> can hear people. Shotgun ammo. Okay. 
Her condition has degraded dramatically in the last few months. Her fantasies of a mirror world have become more acute, and she spends more and more time in apparent catatonic state. She claims that during this time she is in the other world. She now has a full recollection of her attack on her son, but shows no remorse for the incident. Indeed, she seems proud, almost smug of her attempted filicide. I am worried that this behaviour could be a side effect of the increased doses of epilonium that, I, that the patient has been prescribed. I have asked for a dose to be halved and hope to see, it pos hope to see positive results shortly. Now we're talking. Nothing for me. Got another mirror there. I got myself a shotgun! With two bullets. The shotgun only takes two cartridges at a time, but at close range it's unstoppable! Never gonna be able to reach this door. Oh, okay. <laughs> that'll be oops. That'll be why. Ow! Uh, no, stop being a dick. Give me chance. That's what I say. How much ammo do I have for this? Decent amount, but... I'm not able to read the exit. The floor doesn't go any further. Can't go that way. sick of that rising tone in the background music yet? I sure am. Just as I got done praising the praising the sound design too. I want to turn the camera around so I can see in the room. take this filing cabinet. <laughs> Is that all that's in there? I think so.
Yeah, the environments are cool looking. Stinks of mildew. The game does seem to be missing some of the quieter moments though that make everything so affecting. When I arrived at their house, the ambulance was already at the scene. The neighbour, Mr Bryant, who first called in the incident, had restrained her and the paramedics were tending to the child. The husband had not yet arrived back from his place of work. Thanks to Bryant's intervention, the gas had been turned off and the house ventilated. However, there was still a strong smell. And I deemed it necessary to call the fire department as a precaution. It appeared that she had attempted to gas herself and her child. When I spoke to the suspect, she was uncooperative and seemed enraged. She demanded I release her so she could kill the devil child. She was clearly not in control of her mind. Mr. Bryant commented that several times in the previous weeks he had heard loud arguments and screams from the house. He said, Helen has not always been well for a while. You could say that she's been to Helen back, couldn't you? What are you rolling your eyes at me for? No save points for me. Wait, what floor am I on? First floor. Can I go up to the second floor? I cannot go up to the second floor. Secret ammo! There's a thing down here. Just a shelf full of junk. It's the key! Interview archives key. Where are the interview archives? I'm looking for it.
If I wasn't into your archive room, where would I be? I'd be here. Actually, should I go to the storeroom and use the mirror? So I can actually get to the second floor? It's like camera, it's too close. The camera's too close, it's confusing. I get why they did that, like PSP game and all. You won't be able to see anything otherwise. Locked then? Oh, it was locked. Cool. Give me healing items or something. Or a meat hook. I don't need a meat hook. I have my IV stand. Then a shotgun. understand that's what you do with pets that's what you do isn't it and he was a pest oh he was a bad boy always has been I tried to pretend he wasn't but they were there to make sure I didn't forget they the people in the mirrors they see it all what's really going on and it was their idea yes they saw the devil inside of him. I had to kill him. My responsibility. My flesh and blood. I brought him into this world, so I had to take him out of it. Good wombs can bear bad sons, they say. I know you think what I did was wrong. I just want to understand. Helen... No! You want to keep me locked up, Doctor. But you can't. I can leave whenever I want. I can step through that mirror and into their world. This world is just a daydream. Helen? When will they bring me my boy? The plot thickens. So I guess this gets us onto the other world on the second floor. Hooray! We got the rising sound thing again. A katana? Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Slash! 
Swipe! Slide! Uh, <laughs> where am I going now? Where am I going now? TV ward? Director's office? Which direction shall I go first? In the male parts all blocked off since we're following the story of that lady isn't locked off. That is interesting to exactly me. This leads down. Okay, let's check the other places first. Well, <laughs> well checked. to the basement. No secret ammo. The camera changes like really throw me off. Really disorienting. Is that a penis cow? There's another mirror in here. Which I probably need to go through, but let us explore a bit more first. Locked. Is there anything in here? There is! Slow motion! The enemies are stupid. <laughs> they can't see shit. is just blocked but it's a squelchy floor
Medications do not mess up. One, trisanthinum. Trisanthium. Natium. Oporium. Solorium. Natium. Room one gets trisanthium. Room two gets natium. Room three gets oporium. Room four gets solorium. And room five gets natium. Remember, pills only for patients. Okay. of blood and razor blades. Looks like someone had an accident here. I don't think it was an accident, Travis. Warped by heat, the outside is scorched black. Bottles. The tops are off, so everything inside evaporated a long time ago. Heavily barred. food. And some scales. Those dolls correspond to the rooms by the looks of it. Oh, do I need to medicate them with the right ones? Uh, good thing I wrote that down, isn't it? <laughs> So we got a figures with knives, which was room, I don't know <laughs> which one had knives. Like that's razor blades, right? Razor blades was room one. So you get a blue pill. Do you get a blue pill? No, you get a red pill. Um... That was the dressmaker one. That was room three, which means you get a blue pill. No, you get a yellow pill. The scorched guy was room two, so you get a blue pill. The starving guy also gets a blue pill. So by process by process of elimination you get a red one. Is that right? No, you get a you get a green one. Hooray! I'm smart. 
Dr. Harris is key. But the puzzles in this game, they're pretty good, I think. There's like thought put into them. They're certainly better than the Silent Hill 4 puzzles, but the only problem I do have with them is they don't really seem to have a lot to do with anything. Like they're not thematically linked to any, any of the plot elements or anything like that. Right, where's Dr. Harris's room? Dr. Harris is written on... Yeah, that's that's fine, but where's, where's Dr. Harris's room? Or the doctor's office or something like that? Is there a doctor's office? Okay, it's in the other world, so I guess the quickest way it's in the it's in the normal world so i guess the quickest way i already saved it will be to go back down to the basement and go that way so i'm gonna hazard a guess that this is locked right yeah because this this game loves its backtracking Miss something? What are you nosing at over here? Nothing. Incident report. Reporting staff member Simons. Incident description. A male child entered into the sanitarium unchallenged and got through into female seclusion. Doors were left unlocked. He entered female seclusion room 5 at which point the orderly Michaels observed him and alerted me. The boy was the child of a visitor and was taken away by his father. The doors to female seclusion were left unlocked by the orderly and the staff in the lobby failed to notice the boy when he arrived in the mezzanine area. All staff to be reminded of the importance of locking ward doors. Review of staff to be conducted by duty managers. Do I need to go like all the way back around now? Oh, I can unlock that from the other side, okay. They're not completely cruel. Got a big ass wrench.
The new patient, Helen Grady, arrived today. I was surprised to see how calm and well behaved she was. After reading her notes, I was worried that she might be something of a handful. The woman is in a complete denial and claims no recollection of the incident which saw her committed. Indeed, she has asked repeatedly to be allowed to see her son. I have agreed with her husband that it is best that the boy be kept away from his mother. While there seems little hope for any long-term recovery, I look forward to spending some time with Mrs. Grady. Her condition is most fascinating. So in case you didn't guess already, <laughs> it would appear that Travis's mom tried to kill Travis because she saw him as evil. And the people in the mirror told her this. So there's our second hint that Travis has something of a dark past. The first being the dialogue from the other truck driver in the opening. So I guess this means that the explanation of the other world mirror thing is that Travis's mom saw other worlds on the other side of the mirror and she can pass into them, which given that we're in Silent Hill works quite well. This is probably something that it could manifest into reality. I just, I don't see how Alessa ties into this, if at all, honestly, I don't think she does. This is a Travis thing, I guess because his mom could do it, that Travis can do it too. It's an explanation, right? Sort of, anyway. Feels a bit messy, but it's an explanation. It just, it doesn't fit in with what's established given the rules of Silent Hill 1's world. You can make it fit in if you ignore certain aspects of the first game and think of it more like how Silent Hill 2 works, but then why make a prequel to Silent Hill 1 if that's what you wanted to do? <laughs> it's kind of established in 2 and 4 that there's a spiritual power around the land here where the town was built that's capable of bringing all of these things. Well, it's it doesn't really tell you outward, outwardly what that power is capable of and what where like a lesser's, you know, like the, the cult and the lesser corrupted the spiritual power, right? And it doesn't ever really explain whether or not that corruption is what's bringing the unconscious mind into being or if it's a spiritual power. If it is, I've missed it anyway. So she must have done this earlier than Silent Hill once suggested. I'm not really complaining about this anymore. Like, it's a retcon, and it's fine, I guess. I just tried to make sense of what's going on. Like, the, the game definitely seems to do that Alessa's doing all of this. I'm, I'm not sure that the writers knew otherwise. But there's a tale of motherly abuse here anyway, which creates, it creates a parallel between Alessa and Travis, so that's something. And there's something else to the mirrors too in terms of symbolism, but we'll get to that when it's relevant. It's the part that I remember the most. And we also get the Jocasta artifact, which is interesting because Jocasta is the mother of Oedipus, a figure of Greek mythology who is notable for killing his father and marrying his mother. So I don't know what this is supposed to symbolize. Does, does this symbolize that Travis killed his father? Does this symbolize that he wants the sexy time with his mom? I guess we'll find out. We, we won't find out. And for our efforts, we get another drip stand. So I need to go to the second floor now. Which means going all the way back down and around, really? You couldn't have just... <laughs> you couldn't have just let me unlock the door. I think I figured it out. I think I'm thinking about this wrong. I need to think in terms of light and dark worlds.
Am I thinking about this right? No. I need to go all the way back around. That's that's really dumb. That's just like really cheap just to lengthen the game. It's gonna make me go all the way back around, isn't it? Because I can't get to. I need to go to that bathroom, the, the female toilets. Oh, that's really annoying. And I'm normally the person that defends backtracking and stuff in these kinds of games. It makes more sense when it comes down to like resource management and things like that, but... In this case, it doesn't seem to make as much sense to me. I'm even going. I need to get to the first floor, but on the other side. First floor, but on the other side. First floor, but on the other side. How do I get to the other side? This area did, did turn out to be pretty big, didn't it? How... <laughs> How do you get to the other side? There's no mirrors on the... There's no mirrors on this side. Okay, I think I see. Up to the second floor! Dodge angles look cool, but they don't work when your control changes as the camera tilts. <laughs> this is why these games have tank controls. as well. That's interesting. I mean, that just makes the back... That's not even interesting. That just makes the backtrack even... backtracking even more pointless. The whole idea of backtracking in horror games is to drain your resources. If they just remove all of the enemies as well, then it's just... 
It's just wasting your time. Lisa? You're here too? Can you see all this stuff? Is it all dark for you too? I... It's so sad. They can't do anything for her. She just sits there. She wants her boy so badly. Who are you talking about? Is the girl inside? Alessa? Is Alessa in there? No. No! You know who's in there! Creepy door. I mean, this is obviously a boss fight, right? So. Why do I feel uneasy when I look at this pixelated mess of pixels? Violent, heavy scribbles. This looks strange. What is it, a monster? A child? Something unsettling about this drawing. Can't really make any of it out, but <laughs> Palma? Daddy said you were dead. Are you dead? I'm not dead. Locked away. Out of sight, out of mind, not dead. I asked them to bring my boy to me. Mama. Come here, boy. Let Mama take a look at you. do I have? How many shots per clip? That many. Six. Okay. I'm gonna get a look at you. What are you there? Ah, spiky girl.
much ammo do I have? <laughs> it's taking a lot. Let's take like half my ammo. Make me use the television! <laughs> Eat television, bitch! So why did Helen Grady try to kill Travis? Because the people in the mirror told her to. Who were the people in the mirror? I don't know. <laughs> Lady's crazy, I guess. I got the past piece. This is just like before. What's happening here? That thing, it couldn't have been. Are you making this happen? Are you doing this? Wait. No. Don't go. I need to know. Alessa can only communicate using sirens, so I guess Alessa is doing all of this on purpose. So, another retcon. Okay. That's, that one's dumb, and it completely ruins her character. I'm sorry, but it does. It completely destroys Alessa's character for me. I got a theatre ticket! Darling, we're going to the theatre! A faded yellow theatre ticket! Admits one to the Tempest. We found a theatre ticket because Travis needs motivation to go to the next area, I suppose. No story context needed. Who cares about investment? Who cares about character motivations and reasons to be at the places he's at? Can I at least get to a save point or something? Big wrench! I got the lumberyard key, just in case you, <laughs> just in case you're gonna get lost of where to go next. Let's go, I guess. Travis, <laughs> you can do it incredibly slowly. Whoever came up with this stupid energy idea is annoying. I wonder if they stack. <laughs> it just turns you around. It's like, stop it. Stop it.
How do I get to the lumber yard if I was blocked? What building do I go through? I have to go through the butcher, right? Perchance you have spawned more healing items for me to collect? Well, given how easy that boss was, I should be okay if I find more pistol ammo and whatnot. Great. Venus cow! Was there a safe point in here before? I feel like there was a safe point in here before. Was it in here? There's bloody handprints on the floor. I don't think this blood trail was here before. Someone is written on the cap. Help me! Spooky! Okay, we'll leave it there, I guess. Until next time. And I look forward to seeing you there. Bye-bye!